So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and thank you for joining me for a video here today on the channel where we're going to be discussing the easter eggs that have not been solved in Black Ops 3 Zombies. It sounds absolutely absurd to say that, but there are some easter eggs which have been yet to solve inside of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Jason Blundell gave us a huge hint before the game even came out, there was going to be easter eggs inside of these games and maps which we will never be able to solve. Oh. And I'm going to really put one in that you guys can't can't break, um, and it'll be hidden uh, in different arenas, and you won't get this one. <laughs> What I have for you today is a just a mere few of the known easter eggs so far that are still yet to be looked at or there's just something more to it which no one has pondered on yet and I really hope this gets and drives us to look back through these old maps and see if we can find anything else because there has to be something more. Now we're not talking about some super easter egg because that is literally just the RK5 but there are a few things in some maps where easter eggs have been completely discovered and then there's some where there are a few things missing. Now when I mention things missing I mean there are some quests which we know exist or ones we can start but we don't exactly know how they finish. Now this first example is the noir easter egg inside of Shadows of Evil and to activate this what you need to do is crouch in the boxer's office and interact with a certain boxer photo. Now once you've shot down this image of this boxer which is Peter Livingstone you then need to crouch and look one to the left of where you shot this photo frame and if you just hold square while looking at it you enter noir mode. Now there is no current known method to get out of noir mode but there are some hints within the strings of there being some way for you to get out of it which makes no sense and we don't know how exactly to do it. Now there is also another easter egg tied around here where if you have a Pack-a-Punch Cuda which is called the Crow Cutter you can use that to shoot down another boxer photo which belongs to a developer who goes by the name of Mighty Hyena over on Twitter and the Crow Cutter is a form of hyena. Now we have no idea what the implications are for shooting down this photo frame, it doesn't seem to do anything but there could be other weapons that may shoot down more frames and there could be more things hidden, we have no idea. Now there are some hints inside of the strings of the game where it mentions how you can end it or turn off the noir but it remains unfound or unsolved at this point in time so when you do activate this you're pretty much stuck in it forever. It's a sure neat little easter egg and probably one that you've forgotten about and there honestly should be a way to turn it off but we simply don't know. Now another thing with Shadows of Evil is like that clip at the start Jason Blundell hinted that he's going to hide an impossible easter egg in many areas of Shadows of Evil evil and we're simply never ever going to solve it. We have no idea what on earth he was talking about even now. It's been like over a year and a half since that video went up and we still have no idea what he's on about which really really makes me want to go and look even further. But really interestingly enough there was an interview he done with Milo back in April when Zetsubo came out and he mentioned that we have gotten close to discovering it or we've been in the right zones for finding it but we just haven't stumbled across it yet which is like what? How is this even a thing? Final question here, yes. right? You've talked in the past about an unsolvable easter egg. Yeah. How do I word this in the best possible way, right? Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the ADFGX, I want to talk about all those ciphers we haven't solved on the Giant, and all these previous maps. I just gave you a t-shirt. Maybe the ADFGX key is written in here, the transposition <laughs> key, that would be fantastic, <laughs> right? But we've got this unsolvable easter egg, yeah. which I, I'm sort of guessing there might be more than one of. There might be. There might be, right? So. Is it something we've come at all close to, even just just in the right sort of zone in Black Ops 3 so far? Uh, yes. We have. Wow. That's just the biggest tease in the world. If you guys have any idea what Jason could be talking about, or if you've found any leads, or just know anything, drop it in the comment section right now. I want a huge discussion so we can try and figure this out, because there's nothing much really else that we haven't found in Black Ops 3 Zombies, but it's always surprising us, especially with things like this. Now, aside from just main quest easter eggs, there are, of course, the cipher messages. Now, as surprising as it sounds, there are still cipher messages which have yet to be 
fully discovered and revealed to us inside of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now the maps I'm specifically aiming towards here is The Giant, Der Eisendrak and Revelations. The Giant has I believe three cipher messages which are still yet to be discovered. There are two cipher messages inside of Der Eisendrak, one of them being in the bell tower and the other being near Quick Revive underneath this table. It's just some of these are like seeming to be double encrypted and just really, really out to confuse us and to make us never really see this information, which on one side I think is really cool because it's hiding all the secrecy, which we may reveal to ourselves in maybe a few years time when we're least expecting it and it will just surprise us. And especially seeing the giant, it seems to hold a lot of messages relaying to the future. Stuff like the radio messages as well really sort of hint at that, but things in Dorizendrak and particularly Revelations, we really need to find this stuff out because it reveals so much future storyline like we barely scratched the surface here and it is a little annoying that this sort of stuff is hidden behind things which you have to be very clever to work them out but I guess in a sense it does keep it shrouded in mystery for a really long time and to be honest it could be as long as Triarch really intend on it being they could make these ridiculously hard and would never figure them out. Apart from that, it seems that all known easter eggs have been discovered in every map apart from Shadows of Evil and Revelations. Now that's not to say that there could be some other easter eggs in the other maps that I haven't mentioned which probably don't even exist within the code and they could be the most ridiculously hidden easter eggs that they fall under Jason's sort of definition of the easter eggs that will never solve. Which is why I feel it's still important to go back and play every single map because there's still bound to be some stuff but Revelations is the one that has the weirdest. Now I'm going to list these in no particular order but we have to start with one of the most important ones which really grinds my gears because it's something that we knew about since the map launched but we've never seen anything about this and I feel like it's almost scrapped at this point like it's so ridiculous that we've not found it that I don't even feel like it exists but surely it must do and this is the chicken easter egg now this is going to be fairly similar to the uh, easter egg inside of Zetsubo no Shima where you play as the spider bait at first I thought this could be the same thing but as a chicken but the only thing we know about it is whatever this is it's a chicken weapon which replaces your trip mine slot once achieved which is exactly what the spider bait done as well now there's literally no progress on this easter egg at all the only thing we can tell that it sort of exists is there are sound effects for chickens inside of the game you can also see the images from the heads up display which exist in the game and you can also see images of eggs that can be seen in the chicken coop only from the front other side of a pool Portal. So that's almost like Triarch's way of going, hey you, look, you should notice this, this is something that you should try and do, but no one's found any steps towards it, and I honestly think this might be a scrapped easter egg, I really don't want to say that, because it would be amazing if we could figure this out, but... I honestly don't think it's even in there. Now if we look through the other zombies maps where we have some other items in our HUD to use, again Zetsubo we have the spider bait and in Gorakrofa we have the dragon strike. Now these all seem to replace multiplayer score streak archetypes and if you've ever like looked or had like a glitched game where in the menu you'll see like uh, the Annihilator being under a multiplayer score streak or just something weird like that. That's where the game um, inserts those multiplayer archetype score streaks into Zombies maps to replace your trip mine and specialist. Now, there is an auto turret weapon which isn't the corruption turret. It's the only weapon in the strings of text that has not been accounted for in the game. And I feel this is where the chicken easter egg, either as a weapon or if you'd have players it, would take that spot. But like I mentioned, it's just simply not there. Let me know in the comment section, do you think this is a scrapped easter egg or do you think it still exists? Now the next thing is related to Kino de Tota inside of Revelations. Now the projector and the screen inside of the Kino room are known to be interactable, but somehow we don't know how to interact with them. And also if you've noticed, there are these big trees in the way, but interestingly enough, they aren't actually real physical trees, they sway 
and if you look at this in theatre mode and speed it up, you can see the trees are actually moving. But the trees don't seem to have roots like other trees on the map, and they don't have any impact physics. You can like throw grenades and shoot zombies through the trees, and they just don't act like how normal trees would, so it's really strange. It's just those two specific trees that are blocking the projector that have this weird sort of physics effect to them. Any other tree, it's just like normal tree. It's what you'd expect. I don't think Treyarch would go out their way to have this weird, trippy, like, animation of the trees sort of swaying and for them to have no roots and have the trees blocking the projector if there wasn't any real meaning to it. Like, it's just very strange. And as for the theatre, to screen we can't interact with it normally but thanks to rdv he created a small mod which allows you to get this thing working and you can see it works exactly like it did in the original king of the totem where you can see whatever character is in the projector room there on the screen now bearing in mind this is just a mod this isn't any real representation of what interacting with it could be and we don't even know if this can be interacted with at all in its state. Aside from that my friends there isn't really anything that we know fully and publicly to still be hidden within all these maps that we don't know. Now of course there's other things like the Apothecan Servant upgrade but we know full well that isn't there. It was and then for some reason Trike decided to take it out and it seems like there was supposed to be a quest which they could have put in but they just never did and uh, we obviously got the upgrade on Revelations but the Shadows of Evil original one there's loads of stuff for it but it's never there but what do you guys think of all of these unfound easter eggs inside of Black Ops 3 Zombies does this make you any more excited to go in play these old maps and see if you can discover these or are you at a point now where you're just done with searching for anything new and uh, you just want to move on to what's ever happening next I'd love to get your feedback down below in the comment section if you did enjoy this video and it brought you down memory lane of all of these crazy maps and easter eggs then be sure to press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this one and as always i'll catch you another video very very soon